All right, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to another virtual village episode. Uh, it is Aihide Chimori with my colleague, Miss Cassandra. And today we are very honored to have a special guest uh, again on our uh, virtual village uh, week, uh, Miss Stacy. So if you can please uh, introduce yourself. Uh, I guess you can, uh, after that, you can start with your uh, presentation. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for uh, inviting us in this uh, meeting and giving us the opportunity to talk about uh, the Guam Week uh, program. So my name is uh, Daisy Palejo. I'm one of the health educator for the Guam Week. And uh, I'm here to talk, uh, to talk to you briefly what is the Guam Week program is and the services that we uh, provide. Okay. Uh, before you uh, begin, I just also want to mention that uh, this is your, their second time being with us. Uh, yes. Yeah, yes. within the last couple of months and mm -hmm. uh, they've been yeah. sharing uh, very useful information. And from our clients, we've also been hearing a lot of uh, you know, they've been saying good things about your office and how you've been very helpful towards mm -hmm. them, especially That's... those enrolled on the WIC program. Yeah, thank you very much. So if you could just uh, tell us uh, for the viewers, who would you, who would you like to, you know, direct this uh, presentation to? Well, uh, of course, uh, this is for the general public. Mm -hmm. uh, I, we want to target the uh, women, infants, children, but there's more. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not only women who can uh, apply for the WIC program. So if I, I, I go through the slides, uh, mm -hmm. I, yeah, I'll be mentioning other okay. um, caregivers who can apply for the WIC. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. So you can. Uh, yeah. You want me to start now? So uh, mm -hmm. basically, the WIC is uh, the special. Uh, the title of our program is the Special Supplemental uh, Nutrition Program mm -hmm. for uh, women, infants, and uh, children. Okay. And it is a preventive public health nutrition program with the primary mission to safeguard the uh, health of low-income women, infants, and children up to uh, five years old. Mm -hmm. So yeah. now uh, the WIC program, this is what we provide. We provide the supplemental uh, healthy foods. So if mm -hmm. you've seen our uh, moms buying the milk, cereals, mm -hmm. so they are our uh, WIC clients, yeah. And the weak foods, these are prescribed foods based on science. So mm -hmm. we don't just give any type of uh, food. It's a prescribed food. So okay. like the foods with the calcium, mm -hmm. basically and that's, uh, yeah, to help uh, our, especially the younger kids, mm -hmm. moms, to uh, help them build uh, strong bones and teeth. Foods mm -hmm. with the, the protein actually mm -hmm. is uh, to help build strong muscles and healthy skin. So mm -hmm. I, I put in the picture, you can see uh, examples or uh, some of the weak foods that is provided mm -hmm. that uh, has okay. the, the protein is a nutrient. Okay, yes. And this is what the uh, weak uh, provides, mm -hmm. like egg, uh, peanut butter, beans. We also have canned fish, but the canned okay. fish, we give it to our breastfeeding moms. Mm. Okay. Okay. We also have a variety of whole grains, like your whole wheat, uh, whole wheat pasta, brown rice, of course, the whole grains, okay. the cereals. Mm -hmm. okay. And then, of course, uh, we started giving out like... Uh, what, 10, 10 years ago, mm -hmm. we started giving out the CVB, which is the cash value uh, benefit, wherein we give uh, a certain amount mm -hmm. for our moms 
to buy fresh, uh, unfrozen, even canned fruits and vegetables. Mm. And basically, this is to uh, help mom um, increase their intake of uh, uh, fruits and vegetables. Okay. Okay. Then for That's our uh, young clients, the babies, once they're ready for uh, solid foods for supplemental or complementary foods, we do offer iron fortified infant cereals and baby food. Mm. Baby food like puree, infant fruits, and vegetables. Mm -hmm. And uh, where do people usually mm -hmm. buy these at? Are they available? Yeah. At, uh, are they available? These are available at, uh, can I say, yes, pay less, yes. cost you less? Yes. Uh, we have 30 authorized uh, vendors in the island, and it's spread uh, all throughout. Okay. So that's 30 vendors. Uh, so, mm -hmm. Just a quick question. I know some. Mm -hmm. I know some. Some of the, some of your clients uh, may have hard time uh, knowing which can food or which can good or which items are. Uh, they can get to use with your with uh, benefits. Uh, the only problem is not WIC. It's the store. <laughs> okay. The yeah, because you know we are. We, we just uh, went through a lot of the pandemic mm -hmm. and the typhoon. And then, uh, of course, uh, our food is imported in the States. So if there's a shortage in the States, then, of course, we will uh, be uh, having the same problem here in the okay. island. So uh, basically, it's not weak. It's, uh, and it's beyond our control. Oh, no, uh, I, meant, I meant like, uh, the are there labels on the items in the store where they can in the go? Stores, yeah, and oh. then we provide them also with the shopping guides. So we oh, do okay. have our okay. eWIC okay. shopping guide. It mm -hmm. lists down, and it has pictures. It lists down uh, what are the WIC approved foods. Okay. Okay. For example, uh, so that way they get they get variety. They don't get uh, that's one brand. Like for example, the. Uh, breakfast cereal, we list uh, what are the uh, brands of mm -hmm. the cereal that they can get. Uh, Same okay. for the milk, the juice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they don't necessarily just get orange juice, apple juice. There's a variety of wick approved juices okay. that uh, they can get. And it's all in our uh, e-week shopping guide. Okay, so there's a guide provided. Okay. Yeah, and then Thank in the you. store, there's a label. Ah, okay. Yeah, all stores are we, they are mandated to put up our sign with approve uh, uh, labels in their shelves mm -hmm. so that we our client know that uh, they can get those items for their okay. uh, week. Yeah. Okay. So moving along, uh, besides the healthy foods, so because week is a nutrition program, mm -hmm. so this is part of our. Uh, the benefit that our clients are uh, getting and these are free is the nutrition education. So when they come, we give them this nutrition counseling by our weak nutrition uh, paraprofessionals. Para mm -hmm. And they also get a special high-risk counseling by our weak nutritionists. And of course, uh, part uh, to um, reinforce our nutrition education support mm. so Jun Lin, that's the other health educator and myself we have the class we call it group nutrition education so you can see our mm -hmm. uh, mommies oh wow they very are, nice yeah so but they we do this pre-pandemic but hopefully we can uh, bring it back okay, it's, okay. It's, yeah it's really fun for Me, the oh, moms yeah. mm -hmm. okay do you guys usually do this during the day or would you say this is later in the evening? Yeah, yeah. We have a schedule for our classes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. And then, uh, of course, we give them feeding tips, shopping guidance, mm -hmm. recipes, of course. Wow. Yeah. Because the weak food is not just drinking milk and cereal. Mm -hmm. There's other ways you can use the milk. You can use wow. it 
cooking, uh, the beans, which is, you know, most people mm -hmm. stay away from the beans, but dried beans, should I say, dried beans is really healthy. Mm -hmm. It's a combination, vegetables and uh, meat, your beans. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you don't know how, what to do with those beans, you can come mm -hmm. to us and we'll share. We'll be happy to share your recipes on how to uh, use your dried beans. Ah, that's very good. Thank you. I'll be sure uh, to advertise that to our clients. Yes, and then the, the feeding tips, these are uh, uh, like uh, those brochures. Mm -hmm. So if you want to know more about healthy eating, especially you have concern about when to start feeding your baby, mm -hmm. then uh, we give you those guidance, feeding tips. I like that, uh, the one with the bottles and the yes. bag of sugar right next to it. Uh -huh. you. So if you can come to our table at UOG, we have some visuals also. Mm, yeah. Okay. So this, it, it, this, this is not to scare. Uh, basically, just to bring awareness. Awareness. Yes. Yeah. So it's your, it's still your choice. Mm -hmm. We just give you some guidance. It's still your choice. But basically, the weight gives informed choices, decision, and these are all based on science. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These are science, this. Science. Yeah. The, the, this bulletin board will uh, show client. Uh, how much sugar in their favorite drinks? There should be one for oh never mind, because it's for it's for women, infant, and children. But I was gonna say there should be one for beer also. For. For beer. <laughs> the beer is is to don't just make sure don't drink too much or else you get yeah. the drunk and it's gonna be a different story <laughs> problem yes. right can also cause diabetes especially if you yeah. are pregnant so those yeah. kinds that we want to really emphasize mm -hmm. drinking drugs alcohol during pregnancy mm -hmm. uh, it's really um, something that we have to uh, do the proper referral and guidance to our pregnant moms because uh, basically the the also one of the goal of the week program is to have a healthy pregnancy. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, okay, okay. So yes. it's even uh, for those that are pregnant, I see. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, our breastfeeding support. So, of course, we believe that breastfeeding is still the normal way to feed your baby, of mm -hmm. course, because okay. when you are inside your mom, or your yeah, baby's inside mom, you are already feeding your baby. So more so when baby is uh, born, right? Mm -hmm. It should still be mom who's, uh, mom should be giving her own uh, milk. So that's why we have wake supports, promotes breastfeeding. And because of the WIC program, the breastfeeding initiation rate it's really high. It's at 77%. Meaning, mom uh, start to breastfeed when they give birth because of the weak uh, breastfeeding promotion. Oh, okay. Oh, high, and this is uh, yeah, this is what does the all the support that our client gets. Mm -hmm. We have a peer counseling support, lactation support, and of course the class. And we do have a breastfeeding hotline. Okay. Yeah. Our client can call this number if, say, for example, they have uh, experiencing some uh, challenges when they start breastfeeding. Oh, okay. Wow, well, it's very useful. Okay. And of course, this is just to show you a, a, a data of the breastfeeding initiation mm -hmm. among the infants in week. So, actually, in um, the 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 in every to call this in every the uh, half of the population of infant born mm -hmm. is already in the week program. Okay, so yeah. eighty. So this is the only data uh, data we have so far is the mm -hmm. last fiscal year of twenty twenty two. So mm -hmm. the breastfeeding initiation is at eighty one percent. Okay. What does that mean? 
So uh, there's a slight decrease, but 81% of the moms mm -hmm. that's on wake, they start breastfeeding. Oh, okay. After they deliver, yeah. I see, I see. So we're trying to... That's pretty good. Yeah, we're, the, the only problem is for them to continue on because mm. normally they stop. Okay. They stop. And of course, we want them to continue on uh, breastfeeding. And mm. other stuff that or other uh, services that we provide our, to our client is the referral. So okay. that's the reason why um, I'm so happy that you uh, invited us in this presentation because mm -hmm. we... Uh, you can also do referral to us. Oh, yes, yes. Mm, so we the, always uh, do that when we have the chance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So say, for example, during a certification and we uh, feel that mom needs other um, services, so we do referral to, say, the SNAP, mm -hmm. immunization, of course, substance abuse, especially mm -hmm. for the pregnant um, moms. And then, of course, to qualify for the WIC. So who can apply for the WIC? So women who are pregnant. Uh, say, for example, they are not with us during the pregnancy. They can still be on with WIC as a postpartum mom, either breastfeeding or not breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. And then infants up to their first birthday and children up to their first, fifth birthday, up to five mm -hmm. years old. Okay, so like what I mentioned earlier, it's not only women or moms who can apply WIC. So who else can apply? Say it's a single parent, the dad mm -hmm. can mm -hmm. apply. Okay. Or even grandparents, if you're a foster parent, legal guardian, you can mm -hmm. apply if you are caring for eligible children. So when I, when we say eligible children, so if you have the baby and children up to five years old, you can apply for the WIC, yeah. So other eligibility requirements. So all applicants, they have to provide proof of residence. So they don't have to be US citizen. Okay. But make sure they are a resident of Guam. For proof of residence, can it be a document like the mayor's verification? Uh, yeah, that's one of the proof of residence. Okay. But there are other proof of residence that okay. uh, a client can provide. It can be a lease agreement. Mm -hmm. It can be the utility bill that shows their physical address. Okay, as long as it shows your physical address. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Can be check stuff. Yeah. Stuff too. Wow. Mm -hmm. WIC is not that uh, very uh, strict with the requirements. Mm -hmm. the proof of Which income because WIC is income based. Mm -hmm. So you just need to show proof of income. Uh, say, for example, most the check stops. Right. Okay. Uh, if you are receiving um, social security benefit, the statement. Mm -hmm. Any other proof of income, it can be child support. Mm -hmm. And then if you participate in um, other assistance like the SNAP and Medicaid, you may okay. be automatically uh, eligible for the WIC. SNAP okay. and Medicaid. So if you have those, you're automatic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot that you can use for mm -hmm. the documents, eligibility right. requirements. And of course, proof of identity. So that's the Picture IDs. Right, right. For the babies, it can be the birth certificate. So that's the difference with the WIC. It doesn't have to be the official. Official is public health, uh, the one from uh, vital statistic. It can be the shot record. Mm -hmm. It can be the one from the hospital. Okay. Yeah, it can be the crib card. Crib card is, say, for example, it's a boy. You can mm -hmm. bring that uh, one that says, I'm a boy. I'm Yes, yes. Um, as a the one that's uh, attached to the side. Of yes. Or the, mm -mm. So those are the things that you can use for the baby. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Then, uh, of course, during the certification, the applicant must have at least one nutrition uh, risk factor, and that will be determined by our trained uh, with uh, competent professional authority. So we do this during the certification period. Okay. And, and then, so this is our EWIC card. So once they are eligible for to receive the WIC benefit, we issue the EWIC card. Mm -hmm. So this is like the, the one for the food stamp is like a, a debit card. I see. Okay. Yes, that, that they, they use it for to redeem their food benefit. So let me just get the number. Let's call her later. Yeah. So this is, it's not like, the, because before um, we clients are using the paper check. So now we are now in the EBT. I see. So, so before uh, Yes, yes. So now it's an it's like the SNAP also. They have the EBT. We call EWIC. EWIC. Mm. Yeah. So that's what they use to redeem their benefit in the store. Now to apply, it's very easy. You don't need an application form. Ah, like what application. You can just come like in the mission today. They can just okay. come to the table and then we'll set them up an appointment. Mm. They can apply in person at any of our week clinics. You can even call us on the phone. If you don't want to get out of the house, no problem. Mm. Give us a call and we'll set up an appointment over the phone. We can even give you an appointment. Drop an email to the Guam week. Oh, wow. at the beach. Yeah. Can now we also easy. are in the social media they can you send can me a message. Yes. <laughs> they can message you on instagram yes actually they are uh, i'm uh, getting a lot of messages how can they apply for WIC? wow mm -hmm. that's good we'll be sure to share this on our facebook and instagram pages too. yes very easy to apply for the WIC. okay and then once they are eligible, they get their benefit same day. You don't have to wait same 45 day. days, 30 days. <laughs> so you they can go shopping same day. Same day. Yeah, that mm -hmm. guys, same day. Same no day, wait. yeah. <laughs> no wait. We will not tell them, oh, you will know your eligibility in 45 days. No, wait. Once you're we are you are certified same day you get your benefits same day. Mm. Other than that, amazing. Yeah, you can go week shopping. <laughs> only week shopping. Problem. Yeah, the only problem if our system is down, but that doesn't happen all the time. Oh, wow. That's very amazing, Daisy. Yes. Week is really easy. So this is these are our week uh, clinic locations and telephone number. We have, of course, our main is the the one here at Tijan. Mm -hmm. And this is, uh, we are open Monday through Saturday, 8 to 5. Okay. And these are our contact, num uh, contact numbers for 7502-9596. This is our fax for 777-794549. And of mm -hmm. course, our email, the guamwick at dphss.guam.gov. That's our okay. Tijan. This is our week dedido. So our week dedido clinic is located oh, in Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's located in the inside the Northern Region Community Health Center. Okay. Same, it's open Monday to Saturday, 8 to 5. Okay. So I put a, a snapshot of our week front desk. I didn't know you were open on Saturdays. Yeah, yeah. Actually, week has four clinics. Okay. So this is the two mains, okay. Tijan okay. and Dedido. And we have two satellite clinics. Okay. So this one is in Santa Rita. So we have uh, also our week Santa Rita. Mm -hmm. So this one is open on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Okay. Except holidays, of course. 8.30 to 4.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. That's the contact number, the 671-565-3530. Three seven and that's their fax mm -hmm. six seven one five six five three five three six. Okay. 
So open only on the Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And of course, our South Clinic located at the Inurahan uh, Southern Region Community Health Center. Mm. So we are located in the at the second floor. Okay. Second Not floor. the first floor. Yeah. Second floor. And that's Tuesday so once you Thursday. go up the uh -huh. okay. Okay. So when you go up the stairs, you can see at once this is our week front desk. That's a very nice desk. So open Tuesday and Thursday. 8 30 to 4 30. We don't have a, a fax, but we do have the telephone, the 828-671-828-7550. Okay. And uh, of course, just to show you our week participation. So uh, the second quarter of fiscal year 2023, mm -hmm. we have like 5,617. So we have because of course, in the fiscal year 2019, we are at 6,558, but we lost some because of the COVID. You know, mm -hmm. they don't know if we are open or maybe they move out. Mm -hmm. So we have some drop in the caseload. So mm -hmm. that's the reason why of the uh, job yeah, of we are trying mm -hmm. to connect with our community partners. So hopefully... Mm -hmm because we're trying to bring up our caseload. So, but uh, so far we are back to the 2019, the 6,500. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to um, mm -hmm. maybe at least to 6,700, 800 or 7,000. Yeah. And I'm sure yeah. you will. I'm sure uh -huh. you will because you know, it's already climbing to 5,600. Yeah, yeah, hopefully so if you can uh, yeah. spread the word about the WIC program. So if they're eligible, they mm -hmm. can uh, give us a call. And yes, uh, that just reminded me that uh, we are doing outreach in the Ironwood uh, community in oh, really? Dedido. Oh, Dedido yes. Ironwood. Oh. Yes, so tomorrow we're just going to go and do canvassing where we... Uh, ask them questions about what they may need and then mm -hmm. you know, oh, see, okay. uh, you know, get an idea of how maybe how many people might uh, uh -huh. need WIC or other mm -hmm. uh, services. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, that uh, sounds good. Yeah. So, um, yeah, because uh, I don't have that much brochure because I said I have some, but it's not enough. Okay, that's fine. What we time? Can... Who is in there? Si Cassandra in the OG? Uh, UOG, yes, there will be people there tomorrow. Yes, do you know if you're going again tomorrow? Yeah, so what time are they going to be there? Let me just check real quick. Oh, uh, gonna, if people are going to be there at L L L L L 8 to 9. I'll drop the handouts. Okay, yeah, they'll be there from around 8 to 9. Not to, today, yeah. this after, uh, later today. Oh. Up to 5? You'll be there up to 5? No. No. They like we left. At They've already left. I already left. Yeah. yeah. No more than the there. I can mm -mm. come in to, I can come in. I'm planning to come in tomorrow and then uh to get my go to the I, outreach. Oh, okay. Then, so uh, I'll I, give you that around eight o'clock. Um yeah, eight or nine. Oh. Okay, I'll be there. Yeah. Okay. I'll be there tomorrow. But if I'm not at the table, if I'm not yet in, you can drop it off with uh, one of the my coworkers. I'll just yeah, grab yeah. it. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. So you can bring it to your outreach. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So that's it. Okay. So oh. for a friend, a family, mm -hmm. this week really works. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we've been in the island for 40 years. Wow. Yeah. Wow. We that's a long celebrated, time. you know, our anniversary. Mm -hmm. That's when the when typhoon came. Uh, <laughs> May 24. Uh, <laughs> so that's wow. uh, so Typhoon Mawar. Uh, wow, yeah. they ruined your anniversary. Exactly. He he gave us a blast. So aye, aye, aye. that's when uh, WIC was established in May 24, mm -hmm. 1983. 
exactly mm-hmm. 40 years when Typhoon wow. Mawar hit. Uh-uh. And may I ask, how long have you been with the program? Me? Mm-hmm. I've been with the WIC since 1998, I think. So going wow. on 20 years, yeah. So wow. my, my WIC moms, when they, some of my WIC, the WIC moms, when they see me, said, oh, you're still with the WIC. Yeah. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah. Wow. That's so you've been doing WIC, uh, right? good for people for <laughs> but, a really long but, time. Yeah, but to let you know, I am a weak mom. Oh, that's okay. how I learned about the weak. Yeah, because I, I am a weak mother. So who mm. knows? One of you okay. there will be a weak uh, staff. Right. Actually, some of our weak uh, staff they are also weak mothers. Mm. Interesting. Okay, so that's okay. it for me. Have Thank any you questions? very much. Thank uh-huh. you. No okay. questions for now, but if we do have some, we'll be sure to send them over. Yeah, so to... I'll drop by the tomorrow at your table mm-hmm. and give you the brochures. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you uh, very hi, much. Dad. Yes, okay, thank you very bye. much. Take care. Thank you, Cassie. Okay. Uh, Thank you to those that are watching. Uh, that will be the end of the episode. If you have any questions, please be sure to uh, send it over or just you know leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you.